So I made this sign thinking I was so clever and then realized it was going to be mirror image. So let's zoom. <laughs> this is how you know you're getting the amateur hour edition of this, uh, this Zoom tutorial. But hello, everybody. It's Missy Paskeywood, your community resource director. And I am going to do my best to teach you to use Zoom today. Um, Kristen is going to assist me, Kristen Gabardella, and I think we also might have a cameo from Chris Zabala, and including um, perhaps if she can get off of the call she's on, June Hussey might also make an appearance. So that is our goal, is we together are going to Zoom with those people today. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen with you so that you can see what it looks like to join a Zoom call, okay? So Zoom is simply a software, right? It is simply a system, it's a website that allows you to video chat with multiple people. And because of the COVID-19 crisis, it has gone crazy, right? Everybody is using Zoom. There are other systems that also work really, really well. You may have heard of Skype. You might have heard of FaceTime. You've probably heard of Google Meet. These are all similar systems, but right now, for some reason, everybody is nuts about Zoom. To be completely honest, it's not totally my favorite. I think Google Meet is a little easier to use. And if you are finding that people are asking you about that one, we can do another one of these tutorials teaching you how to do that. But today, today, in reverse, Oh, I wonder if I would have made it. Oh, you can look through it. We can do the other side. Let's zoom. So today, let's zoom. Okay. All right. So I'm going to turn my screen around right now, and you'll be able to see what my computer looks like. Usually it's a mess, but I did close some of my tabs just for you. Okay. So now you can see my screen. We are going to go to the Zoom website just to see what it looks like, okay? Look at how happy this young woman is. If we can be as happy as her, we will have done a great job. Oh, and this young man as well. He is having a great time. So Zoom is often used by business customers. And so that's what you'll see a lot of their um, services for, but they also do things for individual people. So I just wanted you to see what this looks like. Now for your purposes, what I'm guessing is happening is a family member of yours or a friend of yours or a colleague, perhaps um, someone else you're on a board with is saying, we're going to have a Zoom meeting. I'll send you a link. So that's where we're gonna start today. So I'm gonna go to my email and here is a email for from Kristen and she has sent me something that says, join our Zoom meeting. The It has the meeting ID, I'm pointing at it like you can see my screen, I'm sorry, I'm using my mouse here, it has a meeting ID and it also has a password. Now, often, this will be a hyperlink, which means you could just click on it and it will take you right there. But sometimes, like this one, when it copied and pasted, it did not make it automatic. So what you would do is you would just highlight this. It's simply a website and we're gonna go there. So I'm gonna go there. It's gonna open in my next meeting. Now this is what's happening. It says, I'm thinking, thinking to use Zoom, if you've never used it before, I, I deleted it off my, off my computer so that I could show you what it looks like. So if you've never used Zoom before, it's going to tell you you need to download something. This is okay. It's a very small piece of software called an app. And if you download it to your computer, it show, that's how you see everybody. So uh, this instruction says, please open Zoom meetings when you see the system dialog. And I look uh, down here, this is for the way that I'm recording. Um, I don't see anything pop up on my browser. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna follow this link right here that says download and run Zoom. So I'm gonna do that download and run Zoom. And then, oh, it showed up for me at least. So it might show up for you as a, a pop-up, but on my computer, it shows up down here and it's going to be downloading. It says the Zoom client you're installing will shorten the time it takes to join a meeting. So it's downloading a special piece of software for me. And here it is. So this is my video preview. Now, one of the things I just realized since I was making this video is that my video camera can only do one thing at a time, 
Okay. So right now it can only take the video recording of me showing you how to use zoom. So zoom cannot use my camera, which I did not even think about until this exact moment in time, but that's okay. Because when you do a zoom meeting, you don't have to show your face. If you don't want to, if you haven't gotten put together today and you don't want to show your face, you don't have to, but it is kind of fun to join with the video. So, uh, normally a little preview, this would show you what you look like and say, Oh, okay, I look good. Or maybe I need to adjust my, uh, adjust my camera a little bit and you can adjust it and make sure that you look nice. Make sure that you don't have like the bathroom behind you. Uh, make sure that you look good and then you can click join with video. But today I'm not going to do that because I'm using the video to record this video with you. So I'm going to join without video and this is what comes up. It says, please wait. The meeting host will let you in soon. So Kristen Gambardella has made a zoom meeting and she's going to let me in soon. And I'm signaling at her. I'm gonna send her a quick message. I can see her outside my office. I think she's gonna show up right now. Let's see. I know that we're waiting and we're waiting and this is probably what's gonna happen when you try to do yours. Oh, something's happening. There she is. There she is. Hi. And if you look, you can, this is what a Zoom conference looks like. So what you see up here is there's Kristen. We also have Chris and you can choose how you see things. So this is what I know. Um, I'll let her know in a second. So this is what it looks like when you join a Zoom meeting. Oh, and here's June as well. So everybody wave to them. Hi. Hi. So what we're seeing is you can adjust right up here. So this is a gallery view. So I'm going to expand this so it fills up my whole screen. Okay. And I'm going to join with my computer audio. Hi. We can't see you, but we can hear you. Well, and it's because my computer is using my camera right now to record the recording of me showing everyone to use zoom. So of course I can't, I can't figure everything out. I can't troubleshoot at all. So <laughs> I know. So I'm going to show everybody. If you look in the corner, there's a gallery view. So right now I'm seeing Kristen cause she's the one who's speaking. So sometimes it'll move around, but if I click gallery view, now I see all four people at the same time and they're waving and they can see us. Hey, will you wave Kristen? Yay. And there's June. Yay. And so this is what a Zoom meeting will look like. Now there's some basic, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Some basic uh, manners uh, that people do when you're on a Zoom meeting. And often if there's a lot of people in the meeting, like if you're on a family call, everybody's gonna be talking, the kids are gonna be yelling, it's gonna be kind of crazy. But if you're on a business meeting call, one of the main things that people will have you do is they're gonna have you mute. Okay, so what you'll do is down here in the left corner, there's a little button that says mute, and you can mute yourself. And if you mute yourself, then that means just the person who's speaking is the only person who you can hear. And then of course, you can start your video and I'm going to click this button just to see what happens. I don't know, maybe this camera is smarter than me and maybe it'll let me on but I do Oh, see cannot start video because I'm using a video camera in another way. So that's okay. Um, but normally my beautiful face would be right here I even put on lipstick. So uh, but this is what a zoom call looks like. Thank you so much to our friends and at Hacienda the Canyon for helping us do our very first Zoom call. Now, when you want to end the Zoom call, it is so easy. All you do is click the little X in the corner. So this is when you say, Kristen, Chris, June, guys, I got a hot date with a cocktail. I gotta go, I'll see you later. And everybody waves and you click that X and it says leave meeting and you say, yes, I wanna leave the meeting. And then you're back to your main screen. And that, my friends, is the basic idea of how you do a Zoom meeting. And I hope uh, that that was helpful to you. Let me stop sharing my screen and go back to my own face. Hi. Hi, everybody. Uh, so that's how you do a Zoom meeting. Now, if that was still confusing to you, just please come down and we'd be happy to help you get on yourself. Now, the next step would be if you would like to learn how to start your own Zoom meeting, 
which I know there are some people here who are pretty advanced and might want to see now I'm adjusting my own camera because I haven't been able to see it. I look a little better when the camera's higher. Um, so if you would like to learn how to uh, create your own Zoom meeting, it's also very, very simple. Um, all you would have to do is um, uh, create a little account and then you can do the same idea and schedule a meeting with your friends and family. And if you would like to learn how to do that as well, there are tutorials on Zoom that can help you do that. Or you can say, Missy, we want the next step and we will attempt to do this again. Okay? All right, so on that note, thank you for attending. Let's Zoom. <laughs> okay, bye everybody.